Hello and welcome to another new update for Auto Controller. First of all, the repository is now available on GitHub. If you have any custom program you want to submit, feel free to submit a pull request over there. With this update, I have also added a feature for Auto Controller Helper to be able to check for updates. If I have made any bug fixes or new changes, when you open the program, it will be able to notify you to download the new version. It just directs you to the Google Drive link again. But the download is only about 20 megabytes, so I don't think it's a big issue. Moving on to the new programs. The Crown Tundra DLC doesn't have too many things you can automate besides a few shiny legendary hunting. First, we have the Shiny 5 Reggie program. You have two options in the settings, which Reggie you want to hunt for and fast mode. I will talk about fast mode in a bit. To use the program, you must set text speed to fast and battle effects to off. Make sure your first Pokemon is fast enough to be able to run from the battle, or you can let it hold a smoke bomb. If you're using fast mode, your first Pokemon in the team must be the following. 1. Not a shiny. 2. Does not have a showable ability, like Zacian, a nerf, anticipation, etc. And 3. Does not have high happiness, generally not your in-game team. This will cause extra animations and dialogues at the start of the battle. Now for Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. When you walk into the room, you can go straight towards the giant statue. But make sure you don't accidentally light up any tiles on the floor. Then you can start the program right there. For Reggie Eleki and Reggie Drago, you must have battled them at least once and run from the battle. That means you will have to pick the Reggie you want and talk to the giant statue at least once since it has an extra dialogue confirming if you want to choose the Reggie. After running from the battle, you can start the program. Again, as a reminder, you have to disconnect your current controller before you plug in the board. The program starts by running on the tiles of the corresponding Reggie, then walk up to the giant statue and start the encounter. When the battle starts, you should pay attention if the Reggie is shiny or not, because the program is not aware of this, so make sure you pay attention to it. If it is a shiny, unplug the board immediately or take the switch out from the dock to stop the program from running. If it is not a shiny, after a while it will run from the battle and start the process again. Note that fast mode will run from the battle about 2 seconds after the battle UI shows up. Slow-mo has about 5 seconds extra. Some people say it is faster to soft reset the game, and that's not actually true. Soft resetting takes about 41 seconds compared to 38 seconds in fast mode. And that's if you close the game immediately when the Reggie shows up on screen. You probably don't want that since you won't have enough time to react, and you will need to add some extra delay to that. With my program, you should have plenty of time to turn off the program even in fast mode. The next program is Shiny Sword Trio. This program Shiny hunts for Cobolion, Terrakion, and Virisian. The settings is similar to Shiny 5 Reggie program, but this fast mode has more restriction on it, so please pay close attention. Let's start with slow mode first, meaning I'll be using my in-game team. Similar to Shiny 5 Reggie program, text speed set to fast and battle effects set to off. And make sure your first Pokemon can run from the battle. Now find the trio Pokemon. I'll show off the locations of all three Pokemon, First, Cobolion is located in Frigid Sea. Before you start a battle, try to remember where the spot they spawn. This will be useful later. Now start a battle with them, then run. After the battle, move your avatar to the exact spot the Pokemon spawned in, and start camping there. Now you can start the program right now, but I recommend you to do one loop manually first to check where you're standing is the correct spot. So leave the camp, and the trio Pokemon should spawn directly under you. If not, adjust your position again. Now run again and start camping. Then you can start the program. So that's what the program pretty much does. It camps on the spawn location and when you leave, the Pokemon will respawn under you and loops forever. 
Again, if it is shiny, you should stop the program immediately. Now for fast mode, I will be showing this off with Revision, which is located at the west of Old Symmetry. You can fly to the Regis Steel's rune and cycle from there. So for fast mode, your first Pokemon cannot be shiny and have a showable ability like the Reggie program. But this time, all your Pokemon in your team cannot have high happiness. This is because when you camp, they sometimes would do a close-up smile to the camera and cause delay. In slow mode, this delay is included, so it is a bit slower. Also, you need to be careful if you are cycling a lot because your Pokemon also gains happiness by just walking with them. Next, the weather must be clear. It cannot be raining, sunny, or snowing, etc. As you can see here, an extra dial is saying that it is raining. What you need to do is simply just change the system date until the weather is clear. And Shiny Den hunters should be very familiar with this. Of course, if you have an active Shiny Den, you don't want to do this Shiny Hunt at the same time. So I changed the date forward, it is snowing. So let's do that again. Now this time it has steamed around me, which means it is sunny, so we have to move forward again. And now finally the weather is clear, that's perfect. Now move to the spot where the Pokemon will spawn and start camping. Again, I recommend you to check whether you have done everything correctly by manually encounter with the Pokemon again first, to make sure the weather is clear. If yes, Camp again and you can start the program. And finally here is the location of Terrakion. It is located in Lakeside Cave which you can fly to Dyna Tree Hill to get there. And that's all for the update. Happy shiny hunting! About the endless Dynamax adventure grinding, there isn't a way to do this automatically yet, since there is so many ways it can go wrong and I don't think this is possible. Even if so, it will be very inconsistent on getting enough ores. Also I know a few people will be asking about Regigiga's shiny hunting. Yes, I know that it is possible, but I want to get myself some shiny Regi first, mainly Regi Eleki. And because I cannot go back and test the Regi program after I caught them all, I will wait a little and see how it goes for you guys. This is also where the update checker is for. You will be notified as soon as I upload Shiny Regigiga's hunting program, so stay tuned for it. That's it for the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions, subscribe for future updates, see you next time, peace.